was diagnosed with motor neurone disease in 2014, towards the end of 2014. Motor neurone disease is a neurodegenerative wasting disease which will result in paralysis when he won't be able to breathe, eat or do anything unaided. Politicians have so far failed to give a compassionate answer to the suffering that many dying people face. Noel is trying to change our current broken law and is going to the High Court to challenge the blanket ban on assisted dying. What do we want? Choice! When do we want it? Now! We are organising a demonstration. We're going to Westminster via boat and we're going to demonstrate to parliamentarians that the assisted dying campaign is not going to go away. What Noel wants is to control his death, which is inevitable. He says that I know I'm going to die and I want to control the manner and timing of my death. Noel is too ill to join us on the boat. People are coming from all over the country. People who've been affected by the current law, people whose loved ones have suffered at the end of life, people who themselves would want a change in the current law. They're going to tell us about their situations and how they would like this choice for themselves. I have two connections with assisted dying. One was my wife who died of motor neurone disease last November. Towards the end, my wife could move nothing apart from one hand and her eyes, and that was it. By that stage, she was fed up and was quite clear she wanted to die. And for myself, I have multiple sclerosis, MS, so the assisted dying was interest to me as well. I hope that all of us coming together on the boat will show the people who see us, which fundamentally are the members of parliament, that. It's not one person, it's a group of people who believe strongly that this is something that should change. They need to start changing their attitudes and start listening to us and listening to our points of view about our right to have dignity at the end of our lives. People like Noel deserve the option of assisted diet because it's actually, it's about living. It's about a safety net, it's about an insurance policy. Because when you haven't got to worry about the end of your life, you can really get on with living and doing the things that are important to you. So our current outdated law is forcing people into very difficult and dangerous decisions at the end of life. So at the moment people are paying to go abroad to have an assisted death at the rate of one every eight days or they're suffering unbearably. What we're effectively doing is outsourcing assisted dying to other countries for those who can afford to go. Eleven months ago, I was diagnosed with a terminal illness, sarcoma, which is a rare form of cancer. I never used to think about death at all. Now I think about it every day. I spend so much of my time worrying about what my death will actually be like if I knew I had this option. I could relax now, I could live my life now. If you don't want the option of assisted dying, you don't have to have it, but you should allow other people the choice. The law does need to change. To me, it is so vitally important that I show my support for Noel, and I will be on that boat. Even if I'm carried on the boat, I'll be there. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, No, you shouldn't have to spend the last few weeks of your life fighting. I'm totally behind you. Hopefully, together we can all make a difference. No, thank you so much for what you're doing. I've seen the suffering. I've seen how much effort this must be causing you. And I really hope it changes the law and makes life easier for the rest of us. Noel is inspirational to me because of his bravery. 
because of his dedication to a cause at a time of suffering at the end of his life. Noel, keep fighting. We all support you. You're doing a brilliant job and we're going to be with you every step of the way.